I'm going to be giving a short tutorial on how to navigate the basics of ORCAD in this video. So to begin, you're going to want to create a project, which is here. Um, you want to make sure that schematic, as the radio button is selected, make a name, and then make sure you put a location. So you're probably going to want to start putting parts at this point. Uh, that button is here, it's called Place Part. Um, when you start out, you'll see a blank library, and you won't be able to type in anything. Uh, the way you can go about adding a library is through this button here. Um, the two most common ones that you'll be using is Discrete and Gate. So you'll see it automatically popped up to the two input and gate here. Um, the next thing that I want to discuss is the power and ground. Uh, they actually refer to the same window, but the buttons are here, these two. You can click on either. Um, I typically don't use this as my power. I'll typically use the VCC arrow here. It's labeled nicely. It's small, out of the way, and uh, some of these circuits can get kind of large, especially if you don't want to print them on two sheets. Um, and then for ground, I typically use the GND power. Again, it's small. It's the universal symbol for ground. Um, the reason I typically don't use this as my power is because I haven't really found a tool here that makes a clock or simulates a clock, so I typically just use this and then I just rename it to clock inside. So I created a list of pretty easy parts in their libraries. Um, sometimes these can be kind of confusing where you need to go, like if you want to switch, you don't just type in switch. I mean, it's, it's something like uh, SW, SDPT, or just something crazy. So um, I did create a small spreadsheet for that, and uh, I put the link in the description box. You don't need a Gmail account or anything to access it. It's just free for Google Docs. Um, I've also uploaded a copy of the pen printout that, you're, that he wants you to print. Uh, it's a lot of pages. Um, I didn't have all that paper to print that out, and we didn't use every single one of those series pens anyways, those chips. So um, I put it online on Mediafire. Um, if you haven't already downloaded it from Blackboard, I would suggest doing so on any computer that you think you'll be doing ORCAD on. Uh, a couple times when I was taking this class, uh, Blackboard was down for me, and I didn't have access to the 7400 series pin printout sheets, so uh, that kind of sucked. But anyways, uh, hope you guys do well, and that's it!